hey welcome once again to this video two of telegram bot api course so in the first video we made uh, the telegram bot which our telegram bot is located here and you can see in this tutorial we want to sh i'm going to show you on authorizing your bot and we are going to uh, get the bot information using the api telegram bot api as you can see from the bot father when we created the bot you can see here at the bottom of this message that we we got from after creating the bot father we uh, we got this api this link this link is the link for the telegram boot api uh, documentation we can just come and click it and see so you can see these are the all notes you can take time and read them and you can understand and also do things that i will not do in this video so you can just come here down and see all this but what i'm interested in now is authorizing your boat so in order to have it uh to authorize your boat you need to have a token and the token that we have it's located here now let's uh i have i have already i have already created a folder here this folder here i'm going to uh write uh create a config let me create a file then name this file as config config.php then i'm going to do this uh, php php then i'm going to uh create a yeah, a bot a bot uh bot token then i'm going to do this then i'm doing this then i'm going to do that then i will come back to the telegram bot then take this uh take this i'm going to take this and then i'm going to paste it here then that's the telegram boot then i'm going to create a certain method uh here i'm going to create a uh, because we want to get the boat information using the telegram api i'm going to do this boat the uh, boat info dot boat info info dot php here you can see that's the that's what we are going to do and the method that we are interested in you can come here at authentication we can request we are going to use a method that is called uh that is called um that is called get uh get boat uh, get me which will get the boat information you can see from this 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 is what we are going to do so what we am going to copy this url here then i'm going to uh, i'm going back to the project where i will write php then i'll come at the bottom then include the configs where it's uh, where our our boat token is located include uh here then configs config.php then i will do this i will create an uh an api api let me write api url here api url then i'm going to do this here this i'm going to paste this one here so you can see this is the url that we are going to do so i'm going to also do this echo i'm going to write a response 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 is equals to get file information from this thing then i'm going to do this we're going to take this uh variable here then we are going to do this we're going to take uh, we're going to take this then put this then just pick the the uh, the, the access token uh, variable which is the boat token then i'm going to use a method that is called get me you can see from this tutorial uh, from this documentation you can see this so that we can get the boat information now you can see then let's paste that then we can just come here at the bottom at the bottom at the bottom then echo i'm going to echo the response oh, i think i've written the wrong spelling I can just write here n then i do i add another n here then let's go to our server let's turn on the server our zamp server then uh, after that we're going to do this let's wait it and start the server then come back here then write 
local host then add the uh, project name which is telegram board course uh, here uh, I'm going to write it as telegram board telegram course let me just come here at the, at the project here this is the project which is here then I'm going to copy this then I come back here then paste this here you can see let's wait it as you can see the file that we created is here so let's see if it will get the bot information you can see let's wait and see what we do you can see this is the response the JSON response that we get you can see okay true then we can get the bot I uh, ID then the telegram first name and that so you can just come here if you want to echo them separately We can confirm if the response is okay by doing this if Bracket that the response That the response which is here is equals to is equals to uh, Is equals to false you can do that then we can do that echo let me add another let me add let me add something here and we can do else do this and we can just uh, do get the data which is there by doing this i think uh, the chat gpt has done not chat gpt but this we can do let me remove this then i'm going to do let me check if it is okay if there is no error if uh, data there is no error we can echo those two else we can just do echo the getting bot in for error so you can see if that is okay but it's true you can just echo the result and we can echo the username uh, and that so we can just come back to this let me there we can just come back to this then reload them as individual you can see the boat name is that then the boat id let's do a separate block so that it can appear in a different line echo then i'm going to do this i'm going to do that then do this break there then i'm going to do that add the commas then you can see from that we will get the bot id in a different line then with that so that's how you authorize your bot and you can get the bot information so see you in the next video where we'll do more on the telegram bot api